Hey, what's up, fam? It looks like it's finally over. The overly drawn out My Hero Academia arc, which I feel like should have been maybe like taken off like 20 to 30 percent of this arc. It, it felt a little bit too long for what it was, and I'm honestly glad to see it it to be seemingly over at least. But I don't know if I'm happy with the resolution of this arc because what it kind of went into, you know, it was going to be about characters showing all their new skills and abilities that they trained for, you know, and before probably another big villain like Mayhem centered arc. And really only the first two groups showed a whole lot. The second one's what Todoroki's was super lame. His power up was like really nothing his hair kind of just got a little wavy there was no real uh, no real noticeable progress of what he could do and with bakugo he just ran through everybody it, it, it was nice to see him get a little bit of character moment that he has some teamwork skills now but it didn't really demonstrate on a power like wise he didn't show any new skills he didn't show any any progress with his abilities though it is nice to see character progress as well but this arc the whole kind of build around it in a lot of ways was just kind of be a show and tell of powers and and skills to you know like i said get ready for the next arc but it was as i've said with deku i don't really like the the progress and the direction that it's going with this instead of giving him some I give him a martial arts style to kind of learn and to add on to add on to his uh, his super strength or you know some fighting gear to enhance it in some ways. It's just been revealed he's going to get more powers, and I don't I don't like that direction at all because it just it, him as this guy who started out as I'm gonna be a hero without any powers and then was given a power and is now going to be continuously getting more powers. It, it seems more like you are only progressing and you know g getting past all these other people because you keep getting all these freebies put upon you and it's i don't know i, I don't really like the the feeling of it because it, it it's just gonna run down the area of whenever deku is in trouble now he he's gonna end up just unlocking one of these new powers and the fact he's gonna have so many to mix and match it's, he's, the other characters aren't going to have a whole lot of purpose in this series. I know people have been arguing about how he's still got to train to learn how to use them and whatnot. But yeah, he's he's not just going to have them, you know, 100% right off the bat, clearly. But it's the fact that w once he gets to that spot later on, he's going to be useless. Because even s just Strength All Might was the number one hero in Japan. And... You know, this the strength version. It alone is going to be stronger with Deku because how it gets more powerful as it passes on. Uh, but now he's going to have what six, seven other powers on top of that. It's it just seems overpowered because we already know that the strength version, when fully trained, is to a degree comparable to all for one. If you know you bring in strategy and you know you be smart about it. But now he's going to have all these powers on top of that. It just seems... It, it seems too much like Deku is going to become the Avatar, essentially. Where the second he just starts using all the powers, every other character has no real value. Uh, that was one of my only complaints about something like Avatar. Is you had... The second the Avatar goes in the Avatar state, it's over. I mean, it's... Unless you did some tomfoolery poison or... I guess in some cases, lightning bolt them in the back without paying attention. Without them paying attention, you can't really do much, and that's kind of where I see this with Deku. It'd be like if, uh, it'd be like if in Naruto, in like midway of trying to learn how to use the nine tailed fox chalker, it was like, hey Naruto, we also got you five uh, bloodline traits that you have that you have to unlock along the way, and he's just like, well, I guess I'll just start doing that instead and get the other super overpowered things as well, but. I, I don't know it. The, the ep chapter itself, though, kind of just was like, oh yeah, he can't just freely use the the black whip 100% of the time because it, you know it makes his body go a little numb. It doesn't seem like it has nearly as much of a drawback as the strength version of All for One or One for All, and 
I actually laughed at the part where, uh, what's the dude, Shinzo was, like, bandage swinging across pipes, and Deku was having trouble keeping up, and yet people still try and argue that Deku is a match for Asta. Not even close, so it doesn't seem like it's ever going to be a thing anymore. Don't even bother. But the guy, I don't remember his name, someone's probably going to tell me in the in the comments below, of the, the guy whose powers he can copy up to three abilities... I actually kind of like his character. I, I like the way he's always trying to sly talk like people into into corners and into like false uh, false insecurities and just mess with them to, to get the up on them. He seems a lot more interesting than a lot of class A's. I just like that whole. He's he seems more like he's at that edge between hero and antihero, and I think that's pretty cool. The, the series needs more antiheroes. I actually like the antihero spinoff a lot, but I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really see a lot of care towards the rest of this chapter. It was after the point of that dude. Like all this interesting stuff came from that. Uh, what was this? The Shouta? I don't know how to pronounce his name or something. The you know, I'm talking about the the copy guy's power is after even after being captured, he could still use use that double impact on Deku to mess with him, and he was still doing stuff even after being captured. And I thought that was kind of cool the way he seemed like this was all according to his plans. It's like now I can freely do whatever my plan is, you know, mess with Deku and try and take out you know try and take out their ace character while completely completely safe inside the cage, and then he just would have to rely on the rest of his team to do the work the do the rest of the work and i thought that was kind of cool i was like oh this guy's uh he's being a little bit a little bit of a strategist maybe he you know this was all part of his plan uh no the chapter just kind of ends with them after that point swiftly taking out everybody else on class b's team and it looks like this is all gonna be over <sighs> i don't know like i said i don't i haven't really liked where this arc is going i like the first two rounds i thought those were good but Everything following that, I haven't really cared for, and I've obviously made my stance on Deku getting all these extra powers very clear. But uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to hear what other people have to say about it. I, I've talked to a fair amount of people already about it. It seems very mixed. Uh, there's a good amount of people kind of in that same area with me. They're like, why didn't he just, you know, learn some new skills and add on to it? Why does he need all these extra powers handed on to him? I've used the example of, it'd be, it'd be like if Asta, because, you know, when you think about Deku and Asta, they're both very close combat-style characters. And they don't have much for range, and, you know, their their whole kind of goal in a lot of areas while they're fighting is how can I close the gap in order to, you know, attack your opponent. And it'd be like if they gave Asta suddenly teleportation. I mean, and I... As much as I like Black Clover, I wouldn't like that. If, if Asta suddenly had magic to add on to his anti-magic, it wouldn't make much sense. And it just it's just in an area right now with Deku that I just don't really care for. I mean, there, there's obviously a larger idea in Horikoshi's head, but, you know, I, I don't know what that whole layout is. And I could, All I can really say is I don't like where it's at right now, and I don't really like where it's going, but... That could easily change, I don't know, we'll see, and, you know, we'll figure out where things progress from here. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, if I need to, thumbs up the video, would really appreciate it if you liked, thumbs up the video, and subscribe for more content. And maybe check out my other videos and see if there's anything else that I review that you might want to listen to, and, uh, you know, drop your opinions on as well. But other than that, uh, thanks to everyone who's already subscribed, and thank you all for listening.